This tutorial is an excerpt from our new Herrick Families course for Revit, which includes hundreds of tips to develop strong, powerful families your teammates will love using. Enroll in the course at bimpure.com. In this video tutorial, you're going to learn how to model a parametric Moongate family such as these. You can see in the first example, we also have the bricks arrayed in a circle pattern, while this one only has the opening. So this is this family that we're going to recreate in this video. This is inspired by the post that I saw on the social media. Uh, you can see the link to the full post and see the image of the project by checking the link in the video description. All right, let's get started. We'll create a new family by using the door family template. The first thing you can do is to delete the trims and all dimensions, such as this. Let's delete all of these. Let's delete even the opening. Let's get rid of all of it. Okay, all good. So the next thing we're going to do is to add a new reference plane just above the ground like this. Going to add a new dimension. Selecting the dimension, clicking on this label. We're going to call this uh, D1. So I'm using abbreviation for parameter names. You can change the, these parameter names later when the family is finished, if you want to be more clear for the end users. But since we're going to use formulas, it's better to use simple parameters names, such as this. So let's set a value of three feet. And then we're going to add three more dimensions, one like this, the one here, the one like this. I'm going to select them all and set a new label. This one I'm going to call, call R for radius. Okay, let's try switching the dimension. Let's set it to four feet, for example. Okay, nice. So the next thing is to go uh, here in the Create tab. I'm going to set the correct work plane. So here I'm going to Set, Set Work Plane. And I'm going to select uh, Exterior here. So the reference line I'm going to create is not in the middle of the wall. So selecting exterior reference plane. Now I can select the reference line. I'm selecting the arc, start and radius arc to be more clear. I click on this point, on this point, click over here, hit escape twice, drag these blue dots all the way down there, click on the lock icon, same thing over here, click on the lock icon as well, is it already done? Let's try it again. Okay, there you go. So I can click on the lock icon. Okay, now you select this reference line. Click over here to make this temporary dimensions permanent. Set the R label to this. All right, so that's it for uh, placing the reference line and making it parametric. Let's try changing a few of the values. For example, let's reduce the radius. Let's change the value of the D. So the center of the, the circle is a bit higher. Let's put it down a little bit. So something to, to be careful about is that the D value cannot be higher than the R value. You can see that this breaks uh, the family. So the radius must always be a larger value than the D1 value. All right. Okay, so, so far so good. Everything seems to be working. The next thing is to create the opening. I'm going to the Create tab, clicking Opening, selecting the Pick Lines tool, clicking on the reference line, click on the lock icon, then click at the bottom, click on the lock icon as well. Use the Trim tool with shortcut TR, and click on the lines like this. There you go. So if I go to a 3D view, you can see that we have, let's change the scale. We have our opening. Let's go to the type properties and try changing a few values. For example, I can uh, make the radius a bit larger or change the D1 value a bit more. All right, so you can see that this seems to be working pretty well. So you could leave the family like this or something else that you can do if you want to decide the height of the family, you could set well, first, I would delete this dimension. I would go over here. 
and I would set the R value to a formula. For example, it could be um, the R is height minus D1. Let's change this slightly so it doesn't bug. There you go. And now I would just need to set this reference plane to the height label. So you can see instead of changing the radius value, you cannot change the, the radius directly. You just change the height and the D1 value, such as this. And that's it for the opening itself. So it's just properly using the reference line tool and properly setting the arc. And then you can do anything you want with it. You can place the brick, such as the family that we've seen, or you could, for example, let's create a mullion. So let's create an extrusion. You can select, make sure to select the reference line and at the wall, you can lock it. Same thing here, let's trim it. And then I'm going to use the offset tool. Where's offset? There you go. Uh, an offset the three inches should be good. Uh, let's try it. So this is my extrusion. It has the shape of this family and let's try changing a few dimensions. So let's change the value of D1. You can see what happens. Let's change the height. And you can see that the extrusion follows along. So currently it seems that the three inches is always respected even when we change the dimensions. Uh, in certain cases, you might need to add additional reference lines or parameters for the the thickness of the mullion to follow. In this case, it seems to be working well. And then the second family, the one with the arrayed brick, uh, this one, it's gonna be for BIMPure subscribers to get the full tutorial. I'm still going to give you a glimpse of everything you need to do this family. This one has been much more complicated. First, there's a certain amount of complexity to build a circle array such as this, and then how to cut it, cut the bottom part of it. This involves multiple levels of nested families. First, uh, this is a nested family, the whole arrayed brick thing. And if I look at this one, this is also an arrayed family that has a face-based void to cut the bottom part of this circle. And then there's even another nested family, which includes uh, this perfect circle of brick, right? So the steps is to build a perfect circle of a red brick around the center and to place a void, a nested void family by face. And then there's a final nested family that is a single brick for it to work. So if you want to get the full tutorial of this version, this will be for BIMPure subscribers. Learn more at BIMPure.com. If you have enjoyed this video, you will love our new Herrick Families course for Revit. It includes intermediate to advanced strategies to create powerful families. All lessons are available in both video and ebook PDF format. In addition, you get access to our Revit Make a Simple file and to challenges to test what you've learned. Enroll now at bimpure.com.